For someone like me, a service like Blinkist seems like an ideal solution. Whilst there are lots of people who say reading summaries can never compare to reading the whole book, and I tend to agree with those people, for me, someone who reads very slowly and rarely reads a book from cover to cover, getting some value from a summary is far better than not reading the book at all or reading the first few chapters before putting it down. And that is why I have previously signed up to Blinkist annual plan on two separate occasions. But I only did so because on both those occasions, Blinkist were offering a hefty discount on their annual plan. And even with the discount, at the end of each term, I still decided not to renew my subscription. You see, whilst I really like Blinkist, for me, it's just too expensive for the amount of time I use it. In my opinion, you'd have to be using Blinkist every day to really get value for money. At $99 a year, Blinkist is more expensive than Audible's base plan and the same cost as Kindle Unlimited. So is there a cheaper or maybe even a free alternative? Well, yes, there is, and it's called StoryShots. StoryShots is a similar app to Blinkist, offering book summaries in text and audio format. The main difference is that you can access StoryShots whole catalog of summaries for free as long as you're happy to accept the ads. The ads, however, don't appear to be too invasive or frequent. They'll appear at the bottom of the text summaries and there's a full page timed ad displayed at the end of each book. But there didn't appear to be any ads during any of the audio summaries, which I found quite surprising. The biggest difference between Blinkist and StoryShots, however, is that whilst Blinkist creates all their own audio and text summaries, StoryShots source many of their summaries from the internet, often just providing a link to the content. Take, for example, this summary of The Purple Cow by Seth Godin. I listened to the audio, which I thought was very good. However, the text summary in contrast is simply lifted from a completely different website called lifeclub.org. To this end, I don't know how many summaries story shots actually create themselves. So how can story shots guarantee the quality of their summaries if they're not involved in the production? It's hard to complain when you're getting the service for free, but by sourcing the content from the internet, StoryShots becomes little more than a Google search for book summaries. The interface is similar to that of Blinkist, although far less polished and slightly clunky. When clicking read, you are essentially taken to a web page, which can be slow to load depending on the speed of your internet. On an Apple device, you have the option to read the page in Safari, which I found works better than using the built-in app. There is a menu across the top of the screen where you can browse the catalog, access your list of books you've tagged as favorites, and there's an option to search. There is also a left-hand menu where, among other things, you can see books that have been added to the catalog, which I thought was very useful. There is a premium membership option, which at $7.99 is remarkably cheap compared to Blinkist. However, when I clicked the link, the app returned an error stating in-app purchases were not allowed. If you are able to sign up, the premium option allows you to download the audio for offline listening. It removes those ads and enables the ability to take notes. Downloading books to Kindle is apparently in the pipeline. All in all, if you're interested in reading non-fiction, self-development type books for a free app, StoryShots is worth a try. That being said, it's a long way from being on par with Blinkist. The problem, of course, with Blinkist is the price. If, like me, you enjoy book summaries, my recommendation would be to get on Blinkist's email list and wait for one of their promotions. Throughout the year, Blinkist will offer a hefty discount on their annual subscription fee, often 40 to 50% off the standard price. So that's it for this quick video. If you found it useful, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.